Hi, and welcome to my guide. Today we're gonna be completing the mini quest called Family Pest. Now I must note at the beginning, this mini quest is only to unlock the Chaos, Cooking and Goldsmith Gauntlets, all three at the same time. With the completion of the Family Crest quest, you have received a pair of Steel Gauntlets as a reward. And these gauntlets can be changed in the three aforementioned gauntlets. But the catch is it is just one at a time. Take your steel gauntlets to the NPC in El Carrot to change them into goldsmith gauntlets, the NPC in Cathaby to change them into cooking gauntlets, and the NPC in the Jolly Boar Inn near the Lumberyard to change them into chaos gauntlets. You can always change your mind later. Take your chaos gauntlets, for example, to the NPC in Cathaby to change the chaos gauntlets into cooking gauntlets but you must pay 25,000 GP to do so. And you can do this indefinitely. If you really want to own all three of the gauntlets at the same time, or you simply want to complete this mini quest for completionist's sake, then the quest requirement is family crests and there are no stat requirements. The only item needed is 500,000 GP. There are no recommended items, but don't bring anything too heavy. And for the teleports, one to Varrock, one to Cathabay, one to the El Carrot Mine, and one to the Lumberyard if you don't want to run 30 seconds. After completing the mini quest and you want to own all the three gauntlets to put in your bank, then you will need to double the amount of teleports that you need, which means then two to Cathabay, two to El Carrot, and two to the Lumberyard. The Lumberyard is optional, by the way. Where to start this mini quest is the same location where we've started and ended the family crest quest here in the southeastern corner of Verak. Let's talk to Demintheus and select option 1 and then 2. Next we need to check up on his sons. The closest one is near the lumberyard so I'm gonna be teleporting there or simply run 30 seconds up north and go to the Jolly Boar Inn. Inside, on the eastern side, you'll find a staircase. Climb up to the second floor and talk to Jonathan in the northwestern corner room. Select option 1. About family past. After talking to him, let's go to the next sibling. It doesn't matter what order you do, I'm going to Cathabay. In or around the building north of the bank of Cathabay with the cooking and water source icons, there, talk to Caleb and select option 1 about family past. And after speaking to him, let's make our way to the El Carrot mine. Let's do the same with Avan. He is located near the gold rocks of El Carrot Mine. Talk to him and select the first option. After we have spoken to him, we will need to make our way back to the quest start in the southeastern part of Verak. The father has no quests for us, as well as the three siblings also do not have any quests for us. So the only thing left for us to do is to pay the fake Richman 500,000 GP and he will tell his sons that we can have all the three gauntlets at the same time. To do so, talk to Demintheus and select option 1 twice. Once about family past, and one to agree that you pay half a million GP. Now, I want to state once again that you do not need to complete this mini quest if you want goldsmith gauntlets, cooking gauntlets or chaos gauntlets. And you can indefinitely swap between these gauntlets by going to the three NPCs every time you want to change your gauntlets. If you really want to complete this mini quest, then pay up half a million GP. After the mini quest is completed, let's return to the three siblings, right click on them and select the gauntlets option. And they will provide you with the chaos, cooking and goldsmith gauntlets. You can even get multiple. Goldsmith Gauntlets increases the XP from smelting gold ore into gold bars from 22.5 XP each to 
The Chaos Gauntlet increases the max hit of every Bolt spell by 3 damage. So Fire Bolt will now have a max hit of 15 instead of 12. And when the Cooking Gauntlets are being worn, they will significantly decrease the likelihood of burning the following fish. Lobsters, Swordfish, Monkfish, Sharks and Anglerfish. If you combine this by also using the Hosidius Cooking Range, then you will significantly decrease the likelihood of burning these said fish. Separate and comment, okay, time bye.